Are you using this much SPF every single day on your face, two fingers lengths? We're gonna talk all things sunscreen today because to me, it is the number one anti-aging tool you can use, more so than expensive serums and moisturizers or going to the dermatologist for laser treatments. Let's prevent, prevent, prevent. I wish I had known this rule back in the 80s and 90s, and I wish I had knew to reapply every two to three hours. We just didn't have that knowledge back then. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Spieler. I am the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's a course of videos on mature technique, and I created it because I've had so many women reaching out for one-on-ones, and I can't do one-on-ones right now. So I created this course so that it feels like a one-on-one. -on -one. It's much more affordable than a one-on-one -on -one, and you get to watch it at your pace. So check that out. I'll put my link um, under the video title today. Today we are going to discuss SPF. I know it's not a really fun topic. It's not a sexy topic, but it's, it's a topic that I'm super passionate about. And I have been faithfully wearing SPF on my face since I turned around 21. I think it was around 21, 89, 90, somewhere around 1989, 1990. But back then we only had a 15 and we did not know that we were to reapply it every few hours. And as a makeup artist who wore full face of makeup every day for decades, how do you reapply over makeup? And I sat a lot on the 405 freeway in Los Angeles and that sun just beating down and I have sunspots more on this side of my face because of the driving, my hands, no one taught me to do my hands, my neck, my body is a mess because the highest SPF we had growing up was a four or an eight and you are an eight when you had a bad sunburn. <laughs> you know, now we have like 70 and 100. So I look pretty good considering how much sun I've had in my life, but I do see the toll of being in the sun my whole life. And with summer approaching and now it's Memorial Day weekend almost, and there's a lot of great sales on SPF. So I want to talk about all my favorites. I have so many. Some of you are going to get overwhelmed, but to me, if you're going to invest in skincare, then you have to invest in a good SPF. And it doesn't have to be expensive. What I mean by invest is invest in a product that you love, that you will wear every single day. I have a full face of SPF on right now and I'm indoors. I'm in front of this window right here, but I'm indoors all day today. But I'm going to reapply it for you so that you can see how much to use and why. Okay, and then I'm going to go quickly do my face, come back, and we'll talk about all the SPFs because so many of us have so many different preferences, different skin types, um, different lifestyles. For instance, me, I'm going to be in the sun all summer. My daughter is still a teenager. We belong to a community pool. We like to go and just cool off on a hot day. We like to, you know, be on, under an umbrella and always a hat and always a high SPF, but those UV rays still bounce off that pavement and up onto our face. And if you're not reapplying, then that's a really bad thing for skin. So at the end of summer, my skin takes a toll. I do tend to look a little bit more freckled, I have more sunspots, I have a little bit more of a leathery feel to my skin, a little more dried out, but I grew up in the sun and I love it. I love that feeling of the sun hitting my skin. I love laying on a pool float, you know, with a big hat on my face and neck, but just laying there and just kind of rocking with the water and feeling that sun. I can't help it. Um, I, that's just how I grew up as a girl in Southern California and I grew up with a pool in my backyard and I grew up at the beach. Maybe some, some of you did too. So real quick, I'm going to show you how much SPF to apply every single day. For some of you, this is going to shock you. You're going to be shocked at how much you're supposed to wear. And to be honest, even though I faithfully have been wearing SPF on my face since 1989, every single day, even in the winter, I did not apply this much and I certainly didn't know to reapply. 
So I'm gonna take my very, very favorite SPF and this is Korean Beauty. It's called Beauty of Joseon. It's an SPF 50. Um, I will put the link in the, under the video title. Um, this is my absolute favorite and you'll see why in a minute. It feels like skincare, not SPF. I wear it every single day. It's beautiful under makeup. It disappears right away. And um, it's just my go-to and I have another tube on the way but it might not be for everyone. So the rule of thumb, and I looked this up, I mean, I've seen this rule of thumb for years, but if I'm gonna talk about the rule of thumb, then I wanna tell you why this is the rule of thumb. So I went on the Harvard, Harvard Dermatology website, and I also went on like, you know, WebMD. Okay, two finger lengths. If you were to take a measuring spoon from your kitchen, this would be about a fourth to a third of a teaspoon. That's how much you need on your face and down your neck, okay? And don't forget the ears, because I was telling my daughter, my ears are getting really collapsed and textury and leathery, and I never protected my ears. Nobody told us about this stuff. So two finger lengths, okay, about that much, and this is how much we need every single day. Now, if you're just gonna be inside all day, this should suffice. But if you're gonna be sitting in traffic on a commute or taking a walk or out in your garden or at the pool or beach, you have to reapply every two hours. Look at how yellow my neck is compared to my face. So many of us have this problem. Okay, I go on to my ears, especially the earlobes where I'm getting real, I mean, my earlobes look old, okay? They just do. And then what's ever left over, I do on the back of my hands, which is probably not enough, but okay, look at that. It is invisible. It blends right in. Um, now you're still gonna wanna wait I still wait and I kind of go around my eyes. It never, this never stings. That's another thing. This never stings. This is not a mineral sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum and K beauty, which is Korean beauty, Korean skincare, Korean SPF. They have much stricter standards in their sunscreens than the USA and they have more advanced ingredients than the USA. So this is why you're going to see a ton of people on social media talking about Japanese and Korean sunscreens or European sunscreens. They are far more advanced than our FDA allows in this country. Okay, so I let that kind of absorb in for a couple of minutes. I might go grab a coffee. I might let my dogs out. I might sit and read something for a few minutes. I might go get dressed. I let that sunscreen really absorb in before I go on to my makeup. I'm gonna go do my makeup real quick so you don't have to look at this. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about all the SPF you could possibly imagine. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I just had to put a little bit of summer makeup on today. I kept it kind of on the, you know, more minimalistic side. Okay, I wanna start with Korean skincare because, I'm sorry, it's Korean sunscreen because it is the best I have ever used the best it feels like skincare it blends right into the skin it doesn't leave a white cast it's broad spectrum you want to make sure your spf always says broad spectrum because yes we don't want to burn from the uvb but the uva uv aging are the rays that age us so make sure you get something that says broad spectrum whether it's mineral or chemical okay i used to be only mineral when i was clean beauty and now I've just learned so much about sunscreens and Korean, um, Asian, European, they have far superior sunscreens to here in America because our FDA is just so behind the, the game. I don't really trust our FDA so much anyway, but um, I'm going more for protection against skin cancer and aging than I am for, is it clean? And that's all debatable and that's a story for another time. Okay, Innisfree. First of all, everything I'm about to show you is about 20 bucks, 20 bucks or less. So this is Innisfree. 
It's daily UV defense. It is a broad spectrum 36. I'm going to show you on my hand. Um, blends right in. Gone. Okay. I love it. Got it on Amazon. Innisfree. Okay. I'll put all the titles here too. Then, you know, I love the beauty of Josen. This is what I put on earlier. I have a, a couple more on the way. I get them on Amazon or yesstyle.com or stylevana.com. Both websites deal with Asian skincare. Okay. Then this is one of the first Korean skincares I ever tried. It's almost gone now. It's called B Plain. This is their Clean Ocean Moisture Sunscreen. It's an SPF 50. I loved it because some, some days I would just skip my moisturizer and just use this. This is a moisturizing SPF and I'm almost out of it. But this is where I was like, wow, this feels like an amazing skincare, not SPF at all. Here's the thing. If you love your SPF, if you love putting it on and you love how it looks and you love how it lays on your make under your makeup, you're going to use it religiously every day and you're even going to reapply it because it's going to be such a beautiful reaction to it, right? But if you have a visceral, visceral reaction like, oh, it's white, it's clumpy, it doesn't blend in, it looks ugly under my makeup, my makeup pills, you're going to not want to put it on. So let's fall in love with our SPF, okay? That's the B plane. That also... This is hard to find on Amazon, but it is on stylevana.com. And let's see, this one is really nice. Um, is that everything? I think so, it's Korean. This is Japanese, not Korean, Biore UV. This is a watery gel, it's called the Aqua, um, Aqua Rush, oh no, Aqua Rich, and it's an SPF 50, and it's a watery essence and it really absorbs in instantly. And for, especially if you're normal to oily and you want something that doesn't feel like it's coating your skin. Now it does, it doesn't really have a fragrance, but it does at first have a little bit of an alcohol smell, but oh, it's nice and it's cooling to put it on. So in the summer, especially if you're oily or normal to oily, you will love this. This is on Amazon. This might be about 15 bucks on Amazon. Biore UV Aqua Rich. It's amazing. Okay, now I want to talk about tinted sunscreens. Now, there is a difference between a tinted moisturizer with an SPF in it. You can't do the two finger rule. Are you going to put two full fingers of tinted moisturizer on your, on your fingers? and rub it in, we don't know how much SPF. This says SPF 20, which isn't enough anyway. So I want you to stop relying on your moisturizer and your makeup. I know IT CC Cream Cosmetics has an SPF 50, but it's a CC cream. So how much SPF 50 are you getting on your face in a makeup. Do you see what I'm saying? So I want you to get in the habit because I have so many women saying, well, I have SPF 30 in my makeup or I have, pretend you have nothing in your makeup. Don't buy the makeup based on the SPF. I want you to get in the habit of putting on sunscreen every single day. The reason we do the two finger rule is because you need, I need two milligrams per one centimeter of our face. One centimeter is not very big. I mean, that's tinier than a, like a postage stamp. Two milligrams per one centimeter, square centimeter of our face. So that's why the two finger rule, that's how they came up with that. Or a fourth of a teaspoon to a third of a teaspoon, depending how large your face is. Because you have to hit that two milligrams per one square centimeter, or else you're not getting proper SPF protection, okay? So stop buying makeup that has SPF in it. Unless, you know, you really love the makeup and it just happens to have SPF, great, great. It's like wearing two seat belts. Perfect, no problem, okay? But I need you to start wrapping your head around, I need an SPF every day, completely separate from my skincare, completely separate from my makeup. If your makeup and skincare has SPF in it, fabulous, you're double protected, okay? Now, I talked about this last summer. I absolutely love this. This is the Elta MD SP40. There is still a decent amount in here, maybe a third, 
but I've had it a year and nobody advises you keeping an SPF a year. So I'm probably gonna have to throw this away, which is a bummer because there's still some left, but L to MD broad spectrum SPF 40. It is tinted. It's not for fair skin and it's not really for dark skin, but I'll show you here. It is right here. See, it's got a little bit of a yellowish, but it's sheer. So, I mean, it's universal. It works for most skin tones, but probably it would not be for real light skin unless you wanted kind of a tan color in the summer. Um, and I don't think it could work for someone much deeper than like a Halle Berry. Okay. Um, but universal skin sunscreen. And then we also have the La Roche Passe. This is a tinted SPF 50. This one requires that you really shake it up. I, would, I do want to say too, this is about 30, $35. Um, La Roche Passe runs about $30. And the La Roche Passe is just, it's less yellowy, I think. It's a little bit more neutral. Um, but you can see they're pretty sheer and they feel really light. They feel really light and pretty, okay? And then one more sheer tinted, if you want a little color, is um, the brand Dermatology. I love Dermatology. They've, ha they've been gifting me their products for about a year now and I really love it and I need to talk about them more because they're very generous with me, but also I really love their products. So they have the Universal Tinted um, SPF 46, also a tinted. And then they have their regular broad spectrum SPF 46. And I love both of these. And then they also have a tinted mineral. So if you really only want clean uh, SPF, they do have a tinted mineral and that is the company Dermatology. I also absolutely love their pumpkin enzyme mask. I love their under eye patches. Um, and what else do I have? Oh my gosh, they have a water gel moisturizer, which is so refreshing and so nice in the summer when it's humid here and I don't need a heavy, I don't need a heavy moisturizer. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to um, Super Goop because I'm a huge fan of Super Goop. I bought the Glow Screen SPF 40 last summer. This runs about 30, 30 some odd dollars. This is for that really, really like, illuminated glowy glowy skin so if you like to look dewy and this is pretty under makeup too you could get the glow screen but i don't know many oily women who really really love the glow screen but you can see see this hand is just natural and this is like really glowy it's really pretty and that's an spf 40. Um, their more popular one is the Unseen Sunscreen, and this is an SPF 40, and I want to show you this because it's really nice. Um, I'm going to show you on the... So it does have a silicone in it, which is what gives it a beautiful slip. It just has a beautiful slip to it. So it's a great sunscreen if you're wearing any type of makeup that has silicone. Silicones do best with silicones water-based um water-based it does better with water-based okay and that can be tricky sometimes if you say like hey my makeup's pilling up well you've probably layered something that's water-based with something that has talc um, and silicone or sometimes talcs and silicones don't lay well together or sometimes silicones and silicones usually lay beautifully together. So this has a little bit of a silicone in it, but right now, like it just feels a little velvety, but like invisible. It's nice. It's probably one of their top sellers, especially for men because men don't like to feel their sunscreen. So that's the unseen sunscreen. Again, super goop runs between 30 and $40 and that's SPF 40. Then they came out with the Korean version, okay? So this is their Every Single Face Watery Lotion. And this is really nice because it feels like the Korean sunscreens to me. It feels to me more like skincare than SPF. And this is Every Single Face SPF 50. I wore this a couple days last week under all of my Saint makeup. Oh, it laid beautifully together. In fact, I didn't even wear primer. I just did skincare, then this, then waited quite a few minutes, then put my Saint makeup on. 
It was beautiful, beautiful. So I absolutely love this. This is one of their newer ones. And then I got this to take to the pool this summer because you do have to reapply, especially if you're in the sun, you wanna reapply every 90 minutes to two hours. And this is their glow stick, glow stick, in, it's a SPF 50. And you know, especially if you just wanna rub it on real quick, or sometimes my daughter and I go to amusement parks and this is something that just absorbs right in and it's clear. Love it. It feels so good and you can pop it in your purse. And P.S. Don't leave your SPF in the car because the heat can affect the SPF factor. Okay. Then here we go. Where was this in, in the 90s? Where was this in the early 2000s? This is the Super Goop Resetting Spray SPF 40. I have used this now on quite a few occasions, especially if it's towards the end of the day and I'm sitting in traffic or if Gracie and I go and you know get a soda and we're sitting in a drive-through line and I can really feel that sun baking the side of my face, I whip this out of my purse and just kind of let it you know, dry and now you're protected with an SPF 40. And I used it even the other night. I really felt the sun baking me right here and I put this on and it's like instantly that sun, I didn't feel it anymore. That's how fast it works. So I love this. Um, it does stay very, very dewy, which I like, but if you do not like dewy, you're not gonna wanna do this. But I find most sprays are dewy. I had the one by Pacifica last summer when I worked on the movie, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. I was running around and spraying everyone's face. Everyone was like, wow, it doesn't sting. No, this did neither, and neither does the Pacifica one. I think Kula makes one, I think Sunbum makes one but they leave you really, really dewy. So you just have to know that when choosing um, a spray. If you don't like a spray, really don't like a spray, really don't like dewy, Color Science makes a SPF powder. It's a mineral powder, you can dust it on real quick. It's um, the, the brush comes in the same little tube as the powder, so it's not like you're, it's not like you're walking around like this, you know, putting, SPF powder on. It, it all comes together. The problem is, is that I've seen two cosmetic chemists now saying that that's not really, it's not really enough SPF. But I guess if you're in a pinch and you don't want to feel dewy and shiny, then go that route. We used to use that a lot. Um, many, many years ago, I helped my friend Tracy out on a show called Sons of Anarchy. And on a lot of the guys that were like a lot of the biker guys that were out in the sun all day in the hot Hollywood sun, we would run in and put those dry minerals on their face. And, you know, we thought it worked. I don't know. Um, and then lastly, my sister just got me this um, for the pool this summer. We are at the pool a lot, which I know it's not good, but this is the Age Shield face. Um, it's oil free. It's an SPF 70 broad spectrum. And um, let's see how it works. Um, I haven't used this yet. This is brand new. Okay, so of everything I just used, this goes on the whitest. Um, it has a little bit of a white cast, but for SPF 70, for the fact it's a drugstore, this is nice. And if I'm just going to the pool, I'm not wearing makeup, so I wouldn't have to really worry too much about putting makeup on top of that, but at the 70s, really nice. This is a great product. That's for my sister. Okay, so I think I covered everything I can possibly think of. Oh, the last brand I haven't talked about is, um, I got this on Amazon. You can also get it at Sephora. This is um, Biosense, and this is a squalene. Uh, it's a sheer mineral sunscreen, so it's squalene or squalene and zinc. It is mineral, but sheer, because it's very hard to find a sheer mineral. And this is impressive. I even had my daughter, she'll even use this, because she doesn't like, um, she doesn't like that white cast. Look at that. You see any white cast? No. Amazing. So this is, this runs about $30, and I love this and I've worn this under my makeup and it's beautiful. So that's Biosense, that's on Amazon, also Sephora, okay? Whew, that's a lot of links I have to post for all this. I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna do my best. Um, 
I think that's it. Just, you know, be smart. Um, do your two finger lengths every single day. And there are a lot of Memorial Day sales right now on SPF. So take advantage. I even have a huge pump one by Super Goop. I don't have it here, but I have a huge pump one that I love for my family in the summer. And it's like an SPF 50 or 40. And it's in, it's like 18 ounces and it comes with a big pump. And we used that all last summer. So that's a year old. I'm going to have to get rid of that and buy a new one. The For body, you know, the sprays, the a lot of dermatologists say those sprays we're not really fully covering ourselves the way we are when we rub in a physical lotion on our body but the spray is better than nothing and if you're by yourself and you're trying to spray your back and you you know at least you have a spray to kind of help but everything i've read is that the lotions on the body work much better than the SPF sprays. And plus the SPF sprays, we get that into our lungs and what are we really breathing in there? So they don't recommend it for little children. So anyway, happy Memorial Day weekend. Stay protected. Buy yourself a big, beautiful sun hat. And um, I will be back, I hope, next week with one of my favorite pieces of makeup, bronzer. We're going to talk all about the bronzers, all the different bronzers next week. So check back. Oh, and subscribe. If you're over 40 and you love mature tips and mature content, please subscribe. It helps grow this amazing community of women and also tells YouTube that you would like to see more mature content. I would too. Bye for now.